What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video here at Summit Auto Lab. We are finally working on the Cayman project and in today's video we are installing these custom air struts to get the air ride system installed on the Cayman. Now, air ride systems have a lot of components, a lot of steps, a lot of things to do. Uh, this is the thing that I decided to do first. Although it may not be the like uh, most typical thing to do first, this is what I wanted to do first, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so these are gonna replace the OEM Porsche struts and springs that I have on the car. Uh, so we need to remove all the wheels and then like drop all the suspension and all that so we can swap these in. And like I said, there's a lot of components that go into installing air ride on your car. So like air struts are just one of them. So those basically replace the, the springs in your suspension so that instead of being like bouncy, you can control whether they're big or short and, and stiff and soft and that kind of stuff. You control that with the air management. That's another component is the air management system, which is kind of all the electronics involved with controlling where the air pressure goes and controlling the buttons and everything like that. And then there's the compressors and air tank. That's another full system. That's how you compress the air to get it in into the air struts. So I have decided I'm gonna do the air struts first. Um, I've replaced the springs on my car with lowering springs, so I'm kind of more familiar with how to do this. Uh, so I'm sure I can get it done today and in this video for you guys. The only issue that we're gonna run into is once I install these, and we go to put it back on the ground. There's no air in these. In fact, there's just a giant hole. Uh, so it's gonna be completely slammed once I install these. And I'm gonna counter that with, I'm gonna drop the car on its wheels, like the stock OEM wheels, onto like these little dollies. That should give me enough room in the future to then get another jack underneath. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, but yeah, like today, I'm gonna be doing the air struts. And these air struts were custom made for me by Yellow Speed Racing. They're a little bit smaller brand, but all their products seem to be extremely high quality and they're extremely easy to work with. They actually don't make uh, like air struts for Caymans. They make them for 911s, but they make coilover systems for, for Caymans that are really, really good. So they were able to make me a custom set of bagged Cayman coilovers. I'm really, really excited to use these. They have like camber adjustments on the top so I can get the fitment just, just right. So I'm gonna quit talking and quit blabbering and we gotta pull these wheels off. All right, that right there was probably the easiest part of this whole project. Now that we got the wheels off, you can easily see what I'm talking about right here. So here is the factory strut and spring. Well, that's not the factory spring. This is an H&R lowering spring, lowers the front like almost an inch, something like that. Um, so we need to actually kind of drop this whole thing from the top there. There's like three uh, bolts you gotta undo, drops the whole thing down, you gotta loosen it up. Uh, some electrical connections as well, and then we'll pull this whole thing out. We'll replace it with this right here. So as you can see, it's a little bit different. Uh, should be a lot more clearance actually too, which is kind of fun because these are a little wide. But uh, uh, like I said, I've replaced the springs with some lowering springs on the Cayman, so I've done this before. And I happen to know I can replace the front two struts in about 30 or 45 minutes. That's how easy the fronts are. Really, the bolts are right here in the trunk. Uh, you just take off the plastic piece right here and the bolts are literally like, uh, yeah, like right here. So you just undo those bolts, it drops right out. The rears, however, the rears are a little bit more tricky. To get them to go low enough to get them out of the wheel well here, we actually have to remove the whole rear axle. Uh, they're the axle shafts. So this right here, we need to pull that off of the transaxle. That way we can get the whole, this whole thing uh, low enough. Oh man, the rears take me like three hours, front's take me about 30 minutes. So I already got my tools out to remove the front strut here. I'm gonna start on the passenger side of the car. So these right here are 13 millimeter bolts. So you got three of those per side. And then we have a 10 millimeter bolt right there and then an 18 millimeter bolt right here we're gonna have to loosen up to get this shaft out of the knuckle so this slides out and then the whole thing comes down let's get to it loosen that up that was real easy helps when you have the right tools so we got this uh so this is the uh sway bar end link right there see here's the sway bar the end link and the bolt so we just removed that bolt we're gonna have to do some uh, thread locker on there again when we put it back in. Next we have this little 10 millimeter bolt right here. Last but not least, we have the 13 millimeter bolts on top. So now that we got all the bolts out, that really took about 15 to 30 seconds to get all the bolts out once the wheels are off, of course. So now we just need to wiggle this. 
and push the knuckle down. I may need to put my weight on it, but you drop the knuckle down like that. You can see it's already dropped down underneath. So we need to push this down and then uh, we need to slide the strut out. All right. Okay, so after a little bit of finagling and a tough time remembering what exactly to do, we figured it out, got the front passenger strut out. As you can see, it's seen many, many miles. My car's almost at 120,000 miles, uh, but it's still working fantastic. So I'm gonna set these aside. I may be selling my whole PASM suspension strut system. Uh, I'm gonna throw the stock springs back on it, and then I'm actually gonna be selling these lowering springs as well. So if you guys are in Utah or surrounding areas, and are looking for cannon parts, let me know. All right, so let's slide this bad boy back in, get it kind of um, roughly adjusted and tightened up, and then we'll button this side up. There we go, it took me about 20 minutes to get this side just because I had to remember uh, exactly what to do. The other side should take me way less time because I have all the tools out and ready to go. Uh, this side's pretty much done. Okay, we are on the driver's side here. It's the exact same setup as the passenger side, what we just did. So we need to remove the brake caliper here, the top mount. We need to remove a couple bolts, pull this one out, install the new one. Let's get to it. Boom, and just like that, the driver air strut is installed. Because we figured everything out on the passenger side, this side literally took me like five minutes to put this in. I also measured this distance and made sure it was the exact same as the other side. So we are all done here. Time to move to the rears, which is way harder. Like I said, I have to remove the axle and actually all the ball joints. I have to pull these and everything, so I gotta get a lot more tools out uh, to do the back. And Faith has entered the chat. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, so how long do you think these back ones are gonna take? Well, when I did the lowering springs, it took me like three hours to do the back. But I'm guessing hour and a half, because I, I now know I need to remove the axle and the so ball joints. So, three hours. So, probably saying. three hours. <laughs> Before that, um, I think we should go do something fun, because we all know how installs can get a little... Uh... Are we taking a break? Yes. What do you have in mind? Okay, you take the XJ, I take the SRT, and follow me. Okay. Oh, it's coldy. We got Jeep gang. So I was driving home from the gym and I noticed a particular parking lot that had quite a bit of snow left from a storm that we just had. What better way to break up the video than some donuts? Are we having a donut off? Yep. All right. But you gotta teach me first. You just floor it and turn. What? Okay. Watch and learn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really slow. <laughs> Her only objective. Don't hit the poles. Don't hit the poles. Hey. Don't hit the poles. Don't hit the poles. Okay. Make sure it's in track mode. She literally went right into the gutter. Let us know in the comments below who you think did better donuts. Tucky did the best donuts. What you got in the mail? We got some swag from the guy who hooked me up with my air management and everything like that. Icebox Customs. Really? Check it out. Ooh, that looks a little small. Is that mine? That one's yours. Oh. If you guys have any questions on air ride, if you want to air ride your own uh, car or anything like that, hit them up on Instagram. They know everything. The dude's been in the game for like 30 years. So he knows cool. everything. Yo, I was not expecting this. This is exciting. Yeah. Stickers. Stickers. Clayton, the best part. Clayton likes stickers. I have, I've had a sticker collection since I was like five. <laughs> Still have it. Hey, hey, you know who else has stickers? We do. We do. Check the link in the description below to see our merch. Our merch. Yeah, we got merch. 
Yeah, on our site. Go check it out. Flashbacks are coming. Uh, I remember this now. Yeah. This was uh, pretty tough. This was that was like like 50 videos ago. The last time we did this. Yeah, it was lowering the Cayman. Yeah. yeah. Or, I don't remember the title, but yeah, that Ooh. was that's what was in the video. Hammer. Longer extension. Thank you. What are you working on? I'm removing the sway bar end link. Because not only do we have to remove the rear axle, we have to remove all the ball joints. So is that the part that like took really like, a yeah, long time? Yeah, because I had to go to the store to get these. And then I had to, I had to custom make oh, this cool. one. I had to drill it out. So like last time it took like three hours and this time it took 15 minutes. Yeah, because so I remember. And also, last time I tried to get it out without removing the axle. So then I had to learn how to remove the axle, which is not super hard, but the learning curve takes forever. Yep. Anyways, update. So Clayton did some stuff in there and now he's gonna do some stuff in here, yeah? That's right, I got all the things loosened down below. Now I just need to take off all the inside trim to get to the uh, the top bolts, those three uh, 13 millimeter bolts. Slowly taking everything apart. Yeah, I don't, I don't fit very well in this car. Oh, that's heavy. Oh gosh. Oh, oh that's heavy. Oh. Go. Okay, guys, I bet you literally $20 within a few minutes, Sal is gonna end up sitting on that. He's gonna get perfectly in the way. Yep, yep, <laughs> called it. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Sal. Hi. Okay, you guys, so we finally got everything apart. Definitely the all the ball joints uh, are the hardest part of this whole thing. But now you got this low enough to come out of the wheel well and it should just slide right out. Just like that. Swing. There's a lot of stuff going on. Ooh. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. He's testing it. He's spinning it. He's thinking about it. He's placing it. Fits like a glove. Oh yes, like a glove. Almost, almost beautiful. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were gonna end up there, you little stinker. Okay, Clayton needs my help. There you go. Why do animals always have to be sitting on something? Like, <laughs> I can't be comfortable, Sal. What are you doing? <laughs> that feeling when like you're almost done, but then you're like, oh wait, we still have the other side to do. You have one more corner to do, but this side's almost done. I just gotta uh, tighten up all the bolts. Hello. Oops, sorry. Wow, I made such a huge mess back here. There's so many tools involved with like the rear end here because I got to pull all the ball joints, all that. You guys watch me do it. Anyways, I got it all installed. So that side is completely done. We need to go over to this side here and do the exact same thing again. So give me like, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half and I will see you there. Boom, and just like that, the last one is done. This one went significantly faster. The other side probably took me an hour. Uh, give or take, and this side probably took me 30 minutes. So I'm definitely getting faster. It always helps when you already have the tools out and everything like that, so. So we're actually just gonna use these wheel dollies. I'm hoping that they'll be high <laughs> enough because there's actually no suspension. It's just gonna be like sucking up into the wheel well, so I'm hoping there'll be a, enough room underneath the car. If not. Uh, R.I.P. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Let's see. That's it. 
That's it? Yep. Oh, I thought they'd go a little lower. So in the back, well, that's the thing. So you guys remember, I, I just set it really high. So now I know in the front, I need to like go way lower. Yeah, that's, that's like. That's like higher than the other springs that I had. Yeah, so. back is pretty low. Yeah, the back can still go a little lower. Hmm. But. Yeah. Very cool. Well done. Dude, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I've been so stoked to install these air struts by Yellow Speed Racing. Um, I've had these for a while. I'm so stoked to get them on the car. Stay tuned for more updates on the Cayman build. I want it done by the end of the year. So we still need to do the air management, tanks, compressors. We need to paint the kit. We need to cut the fenders. We, we got so much to do. So stay tuned. Click subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the Cayman build. Uh, but until the next video, peace.